All right, guys, I'm back with another unboxing, review, preview, whatever you want to call this now. Um, I know there's not, I don't really have a box to unbox this shoe box out of, that was just boxception, dude. But anyway, uh, we're back to Adidas. Uh, I had to pick this one up. I slept on the other three James Harden Crazy Light Boost 2016 PEs. The ASU colorway was fire. Uh, the USA colorway was cool. And so was the, uh, was it the black gold colorway? Those were cool too, but the ASU colorway was supreme fire. Uh, unfortunately, I slept on them. I thought they were going to sit just like uh, the 2015 no, the 2.5 Crazy Light Boost. The, basically, the Crazy Light Boost model for these, the James Harden PEs of those didn't sell out. So I thought the same thing was going to happen. But here we go. I opened it up. It comes in that, you know, basic Boost box um, that Boost basketball shoes and running shoes come in. It's got that basic Boost paper. And this is... Fuego. Of course, as you can see, uh, I've tried it on already, and uh, me being Asian, you could see the the Filipino broom in the in the back. But aside from that, the view on the shoes is cool. Got the uh, H13 James Harden logo. This is the uh, Ghost Pepper colorway, which is expected to be uh, for now the last. Uh, James Harden PE of the 2016 Crazy Light Boost, which hints at the fact that um, we could possibly see the uh, the reveal, the reveal and the uh, release of the James Harden one or whatever his signature shoe will be called. So I finally got uh, a 2016 Crazy Light Boost model. Uh, like I said, the ASU one is the one I really wanted, but the Ghost Pepper is definitely just as fire as the uh, ASU ones. Um, the maroon on the ASU was just exquisite. Um, the the uh, the red and the um, the sort of mintish green combo on here uh, complement each other perfectly kind of reminds me of a christmas colorway um but I, red and green I, I like the combination so uh, i had to pick these up especially since i slept on the previous three james Harden pe's like i said earlier uh i do plan on hooping these i know i've been saying that a lot about my shoes uh i've been working a lot lately so i haven't really had time to hoop i, I need to hoop in the d lillard twos the d rose sevens and the uh and these now, uh, the only basketball shoe of the current Adidas basketball line I don't have is Crazy Explosive. And the Andrew Wiggins PE of those just dropped uh, over the weekend. And um, I, I might have to wait on it. Uh, I'll, I'll definitely cop soon though, but at the moment I'm not really uh, thirsting for any crazy, for crazy explosives. But yeah, so it's got that full length boost it's kind of encapsulated by uh, a translucent translucent midsole got that combo it's supposed to uh give you the the feel the benefits and feel of boost as if it was a running shoe but the support of a, a basketball shoe and from what i've been hearing from uh, other reviewers the uh the setup on the crazy light boost is uh magnificent uh, continental rubber of course um which is definitely the standard now when it comes to to adidas's uh outsoles i wish the d row sevens would come out with some continental rubber soles because the uh i feel like the traction on the d row sevens from what I've been hearing is the best of the year so far, and I think it'd be meaner if it had a continental rubber uh, outsole. It's got the same kind of plating 
um, in the midsole or outsole midsole area that uh, the D Row Seven has. Uh, the back, the back of the uh, lateral side and the full medial side has uh, exposed boost, which will definitely allow you to feel the cushioning a little bit more. And like I said, the uh, outrigger and uh, midsole uh, cage right there will provide the stability needed for making cuts like James Harden. Uh, the upper is made a, made of like some sort of jacquard knit no some sort of knit uh upper which i've also heard good things uh real dull real real durable sorry <laughs> real durable and uh flexible at the same time so can't wait to see how that setup works obviously i've tried it on already um they do run true to size in my opinion uh I did go, I did try a half size bigger in store just because it was the only size available at the moment. Let me fix the lighting real quick. There we go. Uh, I did try a half size bigger in store just because it was the only one they had at the moment, at the time. And um, you could definitely do a half size up, especially if you have a wide foot. But um, other than that, try, uh, try true to size first. Because um, this true to size right here for me fits like a dream. Um, so back to the tech. Uh, it does have a, a heel cage, TPU heel cage on the outside. Um, it has the three stripes branding, which also doubles as, you know, support, which was the original intention of the three stripes. And then Adidas started to use it as um, its performance equipment logo, which is now one of the most iconic logos in the world. It's sort of got like a neoprene pull tab back heel booty thing going on in the back. It's got the green uh, sock liner uh, and with the red red Adidas logo on the in the footbed. Like I said, the uh, oof, that was a bad angle. The the James Harden 13 logo in green. Uh, sits atop nicely against a sort of mesh mesh uh, tongue. It's got some like ovalish laces. For me, probably from from just a quick look at it, I wish there was one more set of like lace loops or eyelets. Uh, but it is a low top, so I understand why they wanted to give someone some guys like James Harden a little bit more flexibility in these shoes so I understand it does have a good combination of a, a continental and translucent outrigger so I do think it they would perform well but yeah so that's that's my first look for you guys at least and my unboxing and whatever you want to call it for the Ghost Pepper James Harden PE of the Crazy Light Boost 2016 these dropped maybe a couple weeks back uh, I'm just now getting around to it, obviously. And, uh, yeah, thanks for the support, guys. Uh, I've been seeing that you guys are commenting. Um, I'll, I'm, I'm more than happy to answer any questions. I've been answering some questions. I've got, I got a few, I've made a few new friends and, you know, of course, subscribers and whatnot. And I appreciate it. Um, I'll keep doing what I'm doing. Uh, I got 2K17 a couple weeks back, and I hope to post some videos for y'all, too. Um, Definitely, uh, I, I will continue to post content that you guys will hopefully enjoy. All right, then, guys. Peace.